Hey, Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, and I want to welcome you to Notes from Nerds Desktop. These are going to be short video tutorials that show you very specific uses that I have for apps that I use on almost a daily basis. This is something a lot of you often ask me about, so I thought this would be useful, and I've outlined a series of topics to go through. And we're going to kick this off with Dynalist, which is a tool I've mentioned a lot. Um, I love it because it's free, and even if you want the full paid version, it's very inexpensive. I think like 50 bucks a year or something like that is what I pay for, for the Pro account. And it's definitely the best tool out there, in my opinion, for outlining content, which is what I've used to outline this upcoming webinar that I'm doing two days from now as of this recording. So some of you are going to watch this before the webinar, and you're going to find out when you come to the webinar what decision I ultimately made. And the decision I'm making here is whether or not I'm actually going to incorporate this into the presentation itself. For sure, it will be up on my other screen because I've got the whole outline here, which you can see. And one of the things I love about Dynalist is the expand all command. And you can see I've got it really, it's a dense outline. There's a lot of material. I don't know if I can get through all this in an hour. I certainly hope I can. And you can also see I've used color coding and lots of other visual cues to help me get through the material throughout the hour that I'm giving the actual webinar. And then, of course, I can easily make this available. I can share the document. There's lots of ways I can deal with that. But the, the, the thing I really love and the reason why I think this is the best tool on the planet for outlining content is, as you can see, it's sort of like bullet points on steroids, right? I can click into one of these bullet points and get real focused on that thing. Uh, which is really handy during the actual presentation, even if it's just on my other screen. But what I also love about this is that I can step into each section. So we start here at the top where it says start simple. I can expand it just one level at a time and get right into things and show you exactly what I want to show you, right? There's also things like... Uh, you know, I can put links in here, and of course, me being me, I'm putting links to things like Google Sheets, right, so that I can show you exactly how to, uh, you know, plan out your business. And over here, I'm talking about setting up G Suite, right? Google Sheets is where you can build. And then here's the link right into the Google Sheet itself, which I'm going to show everybody during the presentation and walk through kind of what this is all about and how to set this up. And this outline will actually show you in what I believe is a very realistic and conservative way how you can build an $87,000 a year bookkeeping business within a year, right? So again, the ability to, to put links in there, you can actually, I haven't done it here, but I can put images in here. I've, I've never liked PowerPoint for presentations. I love this idea because because it's just so logical. But what I really love is if I decide I want to talk about balance before planning and pricing, it's very easy to grab that whole section and just move it around by clicking and dragging on the bullet point. I'm a big fan of Dynalist. I'm also, um, I have a meeting with a new client later today, and I'm probably going to use this tool also to take notes with the client. It's just, it's like a document, but it's on steroids, and it just makes it really easy to move things around and organize them. Um, I found this tool because I had a client who was using a, a tool that competes with this, which I started using at first. It's called Workflowy, but ultimately I switched to this, and it took me a little bit of transition, but I like this tool a lot better than Workflowy. The number one reason why is with Workflowy, it was like nobody was home. There was no, there were no changes to the app. It didn't seem like the company was sort of there anymore behind their app, whereas these guys are constantly rolling out updates and adding improvements to the app. So Dynalist, definitely the tool of my choice for organizing content, but also for organizing notes or any other kind of information. I go back and forth between using this or just a simple Google Doc. But again, the reason I like this is it makes it super easy to reorganize the content. So oftentimes when we're creating content, we just want to do stream of consciousness just to purge the thought process you know, onto the screen. And then we go back and reorganize it. And trust me, this wasn't nearly as organized at first as it is now. But because Dynalist made it so easy, there were sections that I realized, no, this should go first, and, and then something else needed to come after that. Again, it makes it so easy to move things around. That's the main reason why I absolutely love this tool for organizing content. So that's your notes from Nerds Desktop for today on Dynalist. Stay tuned, because tomorrow I'm going to show you a really cool uh, uh, process that I use for keeping track of webinar registrations. In fact, I'm going to show you the use case of this very webinar and how I'm tracking the registrations that come in via Zoom. It's just a really cool way to get it organized in a spreadsheet and get it updated easily and see in a glance and update it in a click in terms of how many people are attending your webinar and the other information that comes with that. I'll see you around on the web.